Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Conversation Series. I am blessed to have Stacey Ahua with us today, and she is the owner of Usu Company Candles, and I'm going to kick it over to her and let her introduce herself. Yeah, you got everything right. Everything. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so we're already off to a good start. Um, yeah, I'm Stacy, the owner of Usu Company Candles. Um, I am still very new to North Carolina, so I've been here for um, a little over a year and started my company at the end of last year. Um, you know, I don't really have that many interesting details about myself. I am a Leo, but not by, you know, not your typical style. Um, but my passion really both in what I do with candles and just kind of how I operate in the world is to um, connect and to sort of work with people, building community, um, storytelling. It's kind of been the thread through all of my, my life, my different types of interests and jobs and things like that. Um, and that's really where the heart of Usu Company came from. So um, anything that I do, I try to be that, that person that finds community connection, a way to tell a story and, and work with people. So yeah, absolutely. And that was when I was doing my research and just learning more about you and your business that's what kind of drew me to it. And the whole meaning behind it is the aspect of storytelling, the representing your culture, and then mm -hmm. the authentic opportunities for community and everything. So I love that aspect that you created yeah. and still, still create it throughout every day. Yeah. That's, that's, that's living. That's being a human yeah. and knowing other humans. And that's kind of how things, I feel like things grow. So Absolutely. it had to be part of what I did, whether I wanted it to or not <laughs> one way or the other. I love it. Um, I want to start off just by going through the products you have. Um, you have kind of the candle boxes and sets, and then you have the eight ounce candles. Can you mm -hmm. run us through just like you have so many different, really cool scents? Yeah. that you have and that are so, like I was reading them and I was like it's very different environments you could be in with each different scent right I feel like they're all my personalities and I didn't know it <laughs> I was just like making candles for my different moods yeah. um but yeah I have six kind of core um I call them just the classic scents um and they're all, all of the candles are based off of either like a memory or person or like influence of my culture. So my family um, is from Nigeria. So Usu is not uh, an English word. Right. Uh, it actually is our tribe's word for light or fire. Very cool. And so that's kind of where I found that connection with the candles, but um, you know, like Granddad's Farm is a really popular candle and it's a very citrus forward scent. But the story behind it is actually about um, my granddad's farm in Nigeria. And he um, planted an orange tree on his farm for my sisters and I um, when we were really young. And it was one of the last times that we saw him alive. Okay. And we got to go back, um, I mean, almost 15, 15 years later, and we all took a picture with the same tree. It was still growing, still bearing fruit. Like yeah. that's kind of the vibe of everything that I do. So all of the candles have a sort of theme. Um, I've got those six that are kind of the core. And then um, I'm just kind of releasing them as they feel right for yeah. the most part. Like I just did one for um, Ivy Rose yeah. which is for my middle sister. Her, her full name is Rosalind, but we've always called her Rosie. Um, and so her last, her middle name also plays into it some way. So I just kind of pull from, um, you know, the core of, of who I am, what, what the, st the stock that I come from, I feel like is the phrase that people say. Um, and I sort of reverse engineered all of the sense that way. So okay. I thought of sort of the, the thing, the inspiration, the story and what that the scent that that reminded me of. And then I created the candles from that. Yeah. So a little bit backward, but I had to like keep testing until it smelled like the memory. Yeah. If that makes sense. Love that. Um, and so that's why I think they're, they're also really unique um, yeah. and really special to me. So yeah. 
I, I love, I love that. <laughs> yeah, I love that each of your candles has like a memory and a story to go along with it that it has inspired you. That is really, you don't typically see that, but I, I love that because it's super, super personal for you. Yeah. I put my whole family's information on blast. <laughs> you can ask them at first. So I hope they're good with it now. But yeah, it's super personal. Like the stories, I don't, I try not to reread them because they are, I don't know what possessed me to like put all of that out there, but they are deeply like meaningful and emotional. Yeah. I get a little bit emotional still reading them. Um, I try not to, but they seem to be, seem to be doing okay. <laughs> Now, do you have a favorite out of your core six? Do you have a favorite that you're just like, this is number one? It's like picking a favorite kid and I know you're not <laughs> supposed to, but No Day Carry Last is the one that I really ride for the most. Right. Um, it's got kind of a citrus undertone, but there's a little bit of a, like a sweet, almost like vanilla that cuts through and I don't even like vanilla but it just rounds it out. And it's like the cheerful scent. Like if I, when I wake up, that's what I put in my melter or that I burn because I just need that energy. Yeah. And it's just really positive. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Um, I want to know more about how you got started, how you created your business. Um, and that like, why candles? So I got started like many things in my life, kind of by accident. <laughs> I didn't really mean to. Um, I was in like COVID land. I was in quarantine land with everybody else. And I was like, I'm going to bake some banana bread and I'm going to make some soap. And I'm going to, you know, I, I did all the stuff. I checked everything off the bingo card. Um, and candles were one of those things on there. And I'd never made a candle. I loved candles. Like I have a stock of them that I used to keep just that I bought for myself or, or gave as gifts or something like that. And I started making, I made one just again, because, and I think it was something about the control of the process that like drew me in. I'm a very much, I'm like a systems person. Okay, good. Um, and so I was like, I can do A, B, C, and that will equal D. Yeah. And that's, especially in like 2020, oh, yeah. cannot predict anything at all. Yep. It was a perfect, like, I can do this in this space and I can kind of control what's happening. Um, so that was just the beginning of it, like doing it for that reason. Um, and then it sort of evolved into like, I didn't want to just do it. I wanted to have a purpose, even if I was doing it as a craft type thing. Um, and at the time, and still actually, my mom uh, is a traveling nurse. So she was um, doing COVID testing for months last year. I mean, months at a time. And so I made candles for her and for people that she, other nurses that she was with. Um, and they love them. And I was like, well, that's really neat. And it felt good just to give them something. And so I literally one day I kind of sat down and I was like, okay, if I want to do this for real, that's just like sending candles for my mom, you know, I still want it to mean something. And I just thought of, I was like, well, what would I call it? And Usu, again, yeah. because I already knew that it was, there was a word for like fire or light or something came to me and I was like, okay, that's cool. And I literally that night uh, lay down and was like playing with fonts of how I would make a logo and all that stuff. The next day I sat down for probably 20 minutes and came up with every story and scent and, or name, I should say the stories took a little while, but the name and the scent. And I was like, that's it. And uh, that's really how it came to be um, and how it came to start yeah. the whole sort of um, blazing your own trail yeah, is almost another story, but it comes from my, it still comes from family for my dad. Um, and his candle isn't out yet, but his story makes a lot of sense because he was kind of the trailblazer for his family and his friends and coming to the U S. And so long story short, I didn't mean to do it. Um, but I did, and it all sort of fell into place on its own as far as it like working together. 
Yeah, absolutely. I think that's super cool. I, everybody that I've talked to around small business, I've got a huge chunk of people who are like, yeah, I just started during COVID. And yeah. <laughs> it stuck, and I'm like, I love that. At least like something came out of this. Yeah. The point where yeah. We're like we're making, we're making moves. We're doing what we need to do. Uh, yeah, listen, just do it. So <laughs> absolutely. I want to talk, um, there's a big theme around your social media and your website is the hashtag blaze on yeah. what is what is there a specific story behind that I mean how does it correlate with you yeah okay I'll try I'll try to keep it short I'm long-winded obviously um but so like I just mentioned my dad was kind of it was a story from him that was kind of the conduit for a lot of this thinking so a couple years ago I probably should have done it sooner but a couple of years ago I just asked my dad what brought them like what proper brought them to the U.S. not like just to have a better life but like what was the actual thing behind that Um, because my entire family's in Nigeria my parents moved here on their own with my sister and that's how my family ended up here so it's like what what was the thing and um, my dad was a nurse back home Um, he's been a public health sciences professor for over 25 years now, but he was a nurse back home and he was one of the first people that learned how to use um, a dialysis machine when it came to where, to his village where he lived back home. And it was like the only one that was really trained on how to use this machine. And there was a very like wealthy person that was, um, didn't even live there, but that was there. And it was dependent on that machine and was dependent on my dad to run that machine. And like offered my dad everything. He had the security to be there and to do that until literally until that guy was no longer there and then move on to, to carry it on. And my dad kind of said, I knew if I stayed there, that was it. Yeah. He was leaving. And so he, I got chills talking about it. He like, turn, you know, he decided that he was going to do something different, ended up getting a scholarship um, to come and study further in the U.S., got two master's degrees, got his doctorate, and that's how they ended up here. But he literally had to make that decision. And that's what changed sort of the course for my whole family, because he took that, that chance. He, he decided to make his own trail to, to do his own thing. Um, and so that was one of the like, I like, I knew I had that in me, but I didn't know where it came from. And I think it's him. It's kind of that spirit of like, yeah. I got to do my own thing. Um, and then I won't tell you the other story, like the specifics of the blaze on, because that comes with the candle and it's really, okay. cool. yeah. so, but that that's, it's all, it was all kind of that, uh, notion for my dad and that blaze on is kind of like, I call it just a rally cry of like, yeah. do it, keep going, do your thing whatever you do, like, it doesn't matter. Just go do it. If that's what you feel, that's what you need. That's where your life is taking you. Like, just do it. Absolutely. I feel like bite off of Nike or anything, but like, (laughs) you know, that's it. No, I love that. I love that there's this, I love that there's a story behind it, but it also goes so well with the candle aspect as well. Like blaze it, like, it is like a perfect combination. I, I wish I could say that like I planned it all like that, but it just fell so well into my lap. Yeah. So. I love that. Um, when you, like before you started creating candles, was there like a favorite scent you have? And even now do you, is it the same scent that you love? That's a really good question. And the answer, there probably was one. Yeah. But I think it probably leans more to like what the No Day Carry Last candle is. It's a little bit of citrus because I, I like citrus anyway, but just the sharp, almost the brightness of it um, without it being abrasive, but something that's like, that is bright itself that like picks me up. So I think I've always been drawn to like more energetic scents rather than like, um, you know, a musk or a smoky something right. or like a vanilla or anything like that. Um, I think I need a lot of energy. <laughs> so that's where, that's where I, I get it from those candles. Um, I, it. I, think that's probably it. I was super curious because you said you weren't typically a vanilla person. I was like, well, what kind of like sense do you actually? I've never thought about that. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 
I, I love like lavender and kind of yeah. that citrus area. I'm not a big floral person, but I love mm -hmm. lavender and very calming things as well. Mm -hmm. That's where I go to. I should probably do something that makes me a little less amped up, but you know. <laughs> Hey, I, lo I love the very like pumped up. Let's go tackle the day. Feel yeah. here for it. Very aggressive. Don't mind, don't mind me. Uh, I love it. Um, you, we are in a very unique place in Raleigh where there are a ton of um, very local and small businesses around here and in the Triangle. What has it been like for you to be in this community? Um, up front, it's been great. And I, I say that because I moved here at a time when in November, 2019. So I got just this much of like what little taste. Yeah. Like what regular life here was and could have been. And, but that was all wrapped up in like not having met a ton of people yet. Um, so I didn't, I had like the city, but I didn't have like the community quite yet. Um, and so then being like locked down all year, the end of last year was the first time that I really got to be in any sort of community. And it just happened to be through um, a small business. So it was the small business maker community. Um, and it's been incredible. Um, you know, I, I think, I don't think I've been able to really dive into like a, a realm of um, creators or creatives maybe um, like this before, even though, you know, I, I came from and I have a ton of friends that are, this is such a different beast yeah. because now it's like everybody's actual passion or livelihood or day to day. Um, so it's been really refreshing. It's been really you know, cherished because like it's human contact, it's meeting right. people, it's, you know, conversation and interaction yeah. that just haven't had yeah. and never really had the chance to have because of COVID. Yeah. So um, it's been great. I can't say enough about how welcoming people have been, um, about how supportive that community is, yeah. like for real supportive they are. It's really, really been yeah. great. Um, I'm really thankful that if I had to go into something yeah. that I got to dive into the small business and maker community here. That's it's so cool. And I think we're seeing more and more uh, like popularity of like the triangle pop-ups and mm -hmm. markets and things like that. So I think it's so cool just to see every different, what everybody's doing. And I think yeah. it's just cool community, um, Keep to coming. kind of get into. Yeah. What is um, a piece of advice that you would give someone wanting to kind of just go out and do it and open their own small business? Um, I think my biggest piece of advice would be like two things. Again, I'm long-winded, but I would say one, obviously just do it. And I know that's what everybody says. Um, but it's true, like I had to be pushed a lot okay. to do this. Um, shout out to my family and super supportive boyfriend who was like, stop being scared. <laughs> stop. <laughs> but really just had to push to do it. And, and the pushing and the reason I say do it is because it doesn't matter in a sense at the time um, right. if you think that you're good enough to yeah. do it. The matter is if you do it. And so, you know, pushing past, like, am I good enough? Is my product good enough? Can I make it? That's the thing that doesn't matter. Just doing it for me is the thing that like puts you over the line, makes you believe in it. So it's hard to like believe before you do. So that's why I, I would say just do it. And then like put, put your whole heart into it. And it doesn't matter what that heart looks like if it's, you know, candles with names that nobody understands or hasn't heard of before or like art that you don't think anybody else is going to like put your heart into it and do your thing and let that be the thing that people that brings people to you not following kind of whatever the trend may be because that's not going to ring true 
So do it, do it your way, do it with your whole heart. Love that. Love it. I, <laughs> I told um, my boss just asked me the other day, um, like, what is your phrase for your 24th year? I just had my 24th birthday. So she was ah, like, happy birthday. thank you. So she was like, what is your phrase for your 24th year? And I was like, just do the dang thing. That's and it. so that's my phrase for the next year. And I'm like going full into it. Yes. I love it. Oh. Um, where can people find you, find your candles right now? Where are you at? Um, so always online, usucompany.com has everything on there. Um, and I'm just kind of rolling out new stuff as, as it goes along. Um, always follow my Instagram. Cause I sometimes have trouble keeping my own secrets and I spill the beans. Um, so the website's always great. Um, locally, um, you can get them at the North Carolina museum of art. So if you stop in the museum store, you can always get them there. There's also a very special um, candle that is for sale for the Golden Mummies of Egypt um, exhibit, which I'm just really happy about. It turned out great and the candle smells good and like the label's cool. Um, so, but that's all at the Museum of Art. Um, and then like you mentioned, things like Triangle Pop-Up, I have a pop-up with them um, on Saturday at Fountain Coffee. Um, but I have, I try to do as many pop-ups, as many markets as I can everywhere. So I love to travel. So I'll be in Mooresville this weekend and I'll be in Winston-Salem in a couple weeks and I'll be in Greenville in a couple weeks. But um, yeah, I, I have all of that kind of markets and stuff listed, but you can always get them at the museum or online. Very cool. Very cool. Um, I just, I love to end each interview with one question and that is simply just what inspires you connection i think that's it it's it's connecting to people it's connecting lives it's um impacting each other by how we can connect that's that's the thing that moves me um and that's what like i said i try to base what i do on building community and, and finding that connection. Doesn't matter who you are, what you do, background, interest. That's the thing that I feel like is most important. Very cool. And I think right now that is the, like, that's what we all need. Yes. We just need to be connected <laughs> in, a, in, in every way possible. I think we're all even introverts are craving just a little bit of connection yeah. with everybody. So I love that. Truly yeah. do. Um, I'm going to have all of Stacy's stuff linked down below her website, um, where you can find all of her candles and all of her goodness. Um, and her Instagram will be linked down below as well. So if she does spill the beans on stuff, you guys can go and follow her and stay tuned for it. Cause you just heard her say she does it. Um, but th <laughs> thank you, Stacy, so much for being here. Um, and I can't wait to see what other candles and scents you put out. I think it's going to be, it's so cool to have the stories behind it. Thank you for having me and thinking of me and indulging. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm so excited. And um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you guys back here next time. Bye, y'all.